antique and vintage toys have really become valuable. That's because they're so collectible. But what do you do with an old toy that's missing parts? Like this one. Look, his foot's gone, and he's so cute. That should be, you know, he's even applauding it. While browsing the Chicago Antique Toy Show, Ralph met a dealer who specializes in making old toy replacement parts. When I first saw these toy parts, I thought they were all vintage originals. I was amazed to learn they're all reproductions. You can reproduce any any old tin toy? No, not the whole toy. That'd take a little bit more equipment than we've got. Um, what basically we can do is just the missing bits and pieces. Each new piece is made out of the same materials as the original. They're also specially painted to look old. Do you get the toy and then put this piece on? Is that the we, way you do it? Yeah, people ship us in the toy and then uh, we match it to, the, to the, that particular toy. Right. So if it's played with in rough condition, well, after we get done painting the part, we got to play with it and really? rough up that part. Do you store old boxes? You know, if you have a box and the side is ripped and you want the box to look perfect, do you do that too? We also restore those. Yes, well, now, we what do. You, how do you make the paper look the same as the old paper? What do you, well, you have to dye paper? What, uh, I've got some real good skilled artists that work wonders with an airbrush. When these toys were new, they were either hand-painted or lithographed. Or the reproduced lithos, Randy uses a special hand stamping technique that replicates the lithograph process. I'm an old Felix the cat, and the ear is missing. Do you do things like that? Sure, sure. Even though it's leather? Or Even though it's leather, I'll tell you, we, we go out and buy a lot of different old clothes and, and leather, uh, you know, from the 30s and stuff, just for that particular reason. This reproduced Buck Rogers figure is for a Buck Rogers rocket ship produced in the 1930s by Marx. Celluloid arms and legs made in the 20s and 30s were very fragile. Randy uses a more durable, modern material on reproduction. This toy taxi was originally based on the Amos and Andy show. It was a popular radio show from the 1920s and 30s. Randy was able to make these Amos and Andy characters for it. And this is what the car looked like when it was all done. 